Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and have I got a report to share with you specifically in regards to the Orville Dam there in California that is on the brink of a catastrophic event where over 100,000, some reports are up to 150, others are up to 180,000 people. Uh, some say 100, they all vary. But needless to say, there is a good chunk of people that have been evacuated as a result of the cataclysmic event that could come out of this dam. But what I want to do in this report is tell you who is really behind it, what was ignored, uh, and were they forewarned about this? This coming catastrophe, I think you might be surprised um, to find out a few of these things because anytime that there is government corruption involved, especially with something of this nature, I think the information needs to come out uh, because some pretty big people um, have a play in this, specifically Jerry Brown, Governor Jerry Brown and his father, uh, and both of whom are directly involved in this dam and both of who ignored warnings. Uh, but what's the real intent for this as well? Well, let's delve into that report. All right, so let's start here with the LATimes.com. And on this particular report, it gives you live updates. And as you can tell, this was just put out today, February 14th at eight in the morning. Uh, happy Valentine's, by the way, it is Valentine's Day. But frantic fight to lower Lake Orville water level before before a new storm hit. Now this report details how over 100,000 people were told to evacuate in California due to fears that emergency spillways could overflow. Uh, they actually believe that something such as a 30 foot wall of water could come crashing down on the hillside. Uh, needless to say, they're frantically trying to get this fixed uh, before a storm hits because if that comes in, well, they're in a whole heap of trouble because obviously that's going to add more water to the impact of the dam. Um, here's another report on the LA Times. Uh, now this particular report says, here's the nightmare scenario at the Orville Dam that officials are fighting to prevent. Uh, so here's kind of just a breakdown of what's really happening at this dam. It shows the concrete wall that was built there in Lake Orville and then the erosion here. It says water pours over a concrete wall that forms an emergency spillway if it overflows. The water erodes the earth forming a hole as you can see here. If the hole reaches the lake all the way over to this side the wall could collapse. Uh, and so this is the nightmare scenario I guess they're attempting to prevent. Uh, but there's that. And I'm going to leave all these links for you below as well. And one more on the LA Times. Um, and I'm using this source because this is, you know, going to have a lot of the most up-to-date information on that. But a disaster at the Orville Dam could easily become a crisis also for the LA area. And it just gets to information and to why that is. And it has to do with drinking water and uh, the salt or the state water project and so on and so forth and how it could affect things there. So if you live in the area, that might be something you want to read on. Um, also, here is just a map. The Butte County releases map of areas under mandatory evacuation. Not the best map on the block, but this is that area uh, and lots of information. And then I'm also going to leave a link to this. This is the live cam uh, of the Orville Dam. And it says, Orville Dam imminent failure. Massive 200 foot wall of water. Uh, you can see lots of people watching, but it's is a live feed of what's going on there. So there's your quick rundown of what's happening at the dam. Now, let's get into why and how and who's behind it and why did we run into this problem in the first place and does it have anything to do with their Agenda 21 uh, agendas? But here is dailymail.co.uk. Homes beneath California's crumbling dam lie abandoned as it's revealed officials were warned about it 12 years ago and residents face weeks not days but weeks of homelessness aimed fight to stop the collapse now again here's a different number but 200,000 residents in California may be displaced for weeks as emergency services race to repair the dam uh, there and the left in pure chaos when a sudden evacuation order was issued Sunday after days of assurance from officials that it was safe. So they tell them it was safe. 
then they get evacuated. The problem began when two of the dam spillway, its main spillway and emergency one failed. The main spillway has a gaping hole from years of erosion, like you saw a moment ago, putting all the strain on the emergency spillway. It buckled under the pressure of hundreds of thousands of gallons of water, which gushed down into towns. Environmental groups predicted the exact chain of events in 2003 and it went ignored by officials. Hmm, I wonder why. And I guarantee you money was involved. Now officials are working to patch up the erosion hole on the main spillway so it can return to normal functions. A pair of storms set to bring another eight inches of rain on Wednesday and Friday threaten the repairs. Uh, so here's a few things we gather from this report, which I'll leave. One, they knew about it 12 years ago. Uh, they were warned by environmental uh, groups and yet they did nothing about it. Moving on, here's another report from zerohedge.com and it says Orville Dam disaster is the latest in a series of California government corruption environmental failures. Now, this report kind of reiterates that environmental groups had warned about it for 12 years, but it also states that reports are surfacing that large pothole, which has led to the failure of the Orville Dam spillway, was known to the state government since 2013. Now, here's Governor Jerry Brown had years to direct the Democratic-controlled state government to authorize funding to enact plans for repairs to the dam while water levels remained low. The Water Quality Supply and Infrastructure Improvement Act of 2014 set aside $395 million for flood management, but to date has not allocated any of its actual repairs or projects, raising questions about where the money currently sits and what the money has gone for since 2014. Where's the money? All right, moving on. Now here's another report from Infowars.com, again, put out on Valentine's Day by Ryan McCarran. Uh, state, or no, who will be blamed if the dam fails? State negligence plays major role in burgeoning catastrophe. Uh, this is huge, guys, but this report gets into how the dam was basically built at uh, a numerous cost. When they originally constructed the dam and wanted to build this dam, they told the people of at the time that they needed to build it, otherwise they were gonna lose all their water. So they spent you know, tons of money to construct this dam and get it done, all done under the radar. Here we have, this is this entire section here. And it gets into, in, in right here, in a lengthy analysis of the political battle to win approval for this dam that was going to cost a ton of money, uh, historian Mark Reisner recounted how Governor Pat Brown, father of Jerry Brown, repeatedly fabricated and lied about numbers about the dam's true cost in order to hoodwink the voters into approving the immense amount that it would take to build this thing. So they originally, number one, lied about the cost to build this dam. And then, you know, obviously it costs a lot more money than they were originally told. And it kind of gets into some of that there. But needless to say, the report goes on to say that the dam needs repairs as every dam does. And that again, as reports earlier, um, 12 years ago, both California federal officials refused to consider a demand that California heighten precautions and maintenance standards at the dam. They refused to keep up those maintenances and they refused to build the critical infrastructure or extra stuff that they needed in order to maintain and handle uh, so many cubic feet of water. So again, that's what it is. They've ignored it. They didn't put the money towards it. Uh, and this is Governor Jerry Brown and even his father both knew about this. Uh, obviously, Jerry Brown, who is there now, knew about it and failed to do anything about it. And here we have chunks of money missing that was allocated for that kind of thing. At least that is what is being reported. 
Nevertheless, it, it, um, who's going to be blamed for this catastrophe? Well, they're going to eventually blame it on global warming. And then, as reported in InfoWars here, we'll be told that this proves just how much we need the government, our big daddy, in a time of crisis. Let me tell you something. It was the government, corrupt side, that had ignored what was happening at the dam. Who is at fault for this? Well, those who ignored what was going on. Those who didn't allocate the funds that were needed to repair it and to keep it safe, even though they were warned 12 years ago. But instead, we'll be told this is due to rain. This is due to global warming, which we all know is a big fat lie. So interesting thing there. Now, I also found this story, and this is a, a conspiracy website, I guess, VOA t.co uh, but they get into how um some farmers live in the area and this will basically move some farmers out of the land and uh it could be via harp technology and other technologies weather warfare which we know our government has the capability to do this the weather warfare does exist it is legit they can do that whether or not that's the case who knows but we know that um you know, California area has been suffering with a drought for quite some time. And now we have the dam issues that could put a lot of people, if it breaks, which I pray it doesn't, uh, we need to keep all of California residents there in our prayers. And my heart goes out to you. And in Jesus name, we pray for their safety. But needless to say, if that is to break, we could see a lot of farmland become available. And we know that California has a big part in farming here in America. So this is huge and it could impact us all in, in huge ways. Anyhow, just wanted to bring you the latest on what was going on there at the dam. And uh, please, again, make sure you're keeping them in prayer. Anyhow, if you like what you heard here today, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications, please make sure you're clicking the little bell there. Um, otherwise, you won't get notifications, some new thing from uh, YouTube there. Uh, also, if you have not checked out my partners, please make sure you are getting prepped and ready with food storage, especially in the event of something like this. You need to make sure you have food on hand. If the economy goes south, if some kind of natural disaster happens, you want to make sure you have food. You, I use personally foodforliberty.com backslash haven. So make sure you go there and check out some of the things that they have and everything do that uh, is on there helps supports what I do here. Also, noblegoldinvestments.com. Make sure you have gold and silver on hand. Again, you never know what to tomorrow brings and in the latest ploy of censorship they've actually personally target gold and silver which makes me go hmm usually anything that's being targeted is something you likely want to get your hands on so if you don't have any gold and silver now might be the time to get that anyhow uh thanks again for tuning into my channel here this is lisa haven signing out